Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fifth and final video. Wow, being pushed out of context today. Just have a very quick look at the 12Z model runs. They are all updating or have updated uh, as we're uh, doing this video. Final one, ECM WF uh, 12Z is updating right now. We'll have a look at that as the very last model that uh, we see. And uh, I shall get on that for you in a second. It'll be a very short video, only around five, ten minutes. And uh, I'll rattle through the 12Z in a moment. We'll see what's happening with this Arctic Blast potential for the second half of uh, next week. Just say that first video is here is our 7 a.m. upload with also released USA forecast, Christmas update, and a 10 to 14 day as well. Been an epic day of content. Please like, share, subscribe on videos. And thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Right, let's have a look at trials there, Ben. So we're going to start off with the UK Met Office Euro. Uh, UK Met Euro looking like this on Thursday. High pressure will be sitting to our south, low pressure to our north. We bring up a very mild south west wind, so it doesn't look cold at all. Uh, on Thursday or on Friday too. But on Saturday night, high pressure will pull out into the Atlantic. A cold front will push southwards. That will introduce a band of rain and also the first push of cold air from the north and from the northeast through the second half of the weekend. That high pressure then slips into the country through Monday and Tuesday. That will bring probably uh, frosty nights with it, but perhaps slightly less cold days. And then by this time next week, look at this, the, uh, the Wednesday, 24th November, the high pressure is pushing back north again. And uh, this is where we start to introduce the potential, anyway, for a proper Arctic northerly blast as that high pressure goes scooting up to Greenland. That could pull in uh, very cold northerly winds. That is as far as we get with the uh, UK Met Euro. So let's crack on to the GFS then. And we'll have a look at that one. So GFS 12Z uh, was doing. So here we go then. Again, tomorrow bring up a very mild southwesterly wind. Let's push through very quickly. That high pressure will pull out into the Atlantic over the weekend, allowing colder air to come in from the north. The first push of colder weather will be over the weekend. That's bringing a few winter showers to the north and more significantly um, some overnight frost. And then the high pressure sort of slips in across the country through the early part of next week. And again, that will produce frosty nights. Probably not too bad though by day and then middle of next week again look at this high pressure is retrogressing retrogressing out into the atlantic and going north as a greenland blocking feature allowing a cold front to push southwards across the uk and in comes that arctic northerly there's the northerly blast pushing down through the second half of next week. Um, and then that sets up a really quite a prolonged cold spell. We get this trough of low pressure moving at the end of next week. I wouldn't worry about that at this day. But if it came off, it would bring outbreaks of rain, sleet and snow as it pushes southwards within that cold air. But it is just the idea, you know, but as the northerly goes on, it's sort of reinforcing itself with troughs of low pressure digging southwards, courtesy of that ridge in the middle of the Atlantic. This is a very prolonged cold northerly that sets in there through the uh, final week of November. Certainly the risk of snow is there with that northerly, but of course it's so far out over a week away that the detail is to be determined. Uh, we're up to the 28th of November now, still looking pretty cold, and another low comes diving in from the north. Look at that one. Well, again, that's just bringing, uh, gale, that's bringing gale force winds, maybe severe gales, and heavy rain, sleet and snow across the country. The devil would be in the detail with that, but it certainly looks really cold and wintry right the way to the end of uh, November with that. Wow, wow, wow. And then we find that the high pressure starts to topple in from the Atlantic as we go into the opening days of December. Slightly milder air starts to come around the top of the high. So through the first week of December, we start to increase attention, turn things a little bit milder. Although by the very end of the GFS 12Z, which is 3rd of December, it does look as though we could be about to start renewing that northerly, actually, through with this area of low pressure. That pushes through potentially this high pressure around Spain push northwards and we sort of bring in another northerly, maybe. Um, right, so that's that one done. Let's have a look at the GM then, see what GM 12Z is doing. So uh, again, we're starting off pretty mild over the uh, next uh, few days, but as we go into the weekend, whoever will be on the turn, we're going to bring down some colder air from the north through the course of Saturday and into Sunday. And then early next week will be quite cold. Not desperately so, but certainly notably colder than we've had uh, over the past few days. 
or past few weeks, I should say. Uh, high pressure sort of sits around the country through the early part of next week, bring overnight frost. And then again, look at this, the GM is taking that high pressure up to Greenland in the middle of the Atlantic and stretching up to Greenland. Low pressure moving into northern Scotland. Again, that's pulling in cold winds from the north. And so the GM also bringing in an Arctic blast. Uh, through the second half of next week and into the final weekend of November, looking cold with winds in from the north and northeast. The November flip is complete. Let's have a look at Icon. Where is it? Just there. Now, have a look at ECM, and then we're done. If you're enjoying this 12Z, uh, quick 12Z roundup, then please can you smash the like button, make sure you sub to the channel. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Icon looks like this high pressure is uh, moving out into, out into the Atlantic over weekend, beginning to turn a little bit colder with northerly winds over the weekend into the part of next week. Then the high pressure slips in over country, will bring overnight frost with it. Does Icon take high pressure up to Greenland? See what happens. So, yeah, we've got Greenland high in business there by the middle of next week. Northerly winds passing just a little bit to our west, though, with Icon. But it's much of a muchness, and that's as far as we get to with Icon, it's midnight on Thursday. If you can go any further, I reckon that would be pulling down a very cold, or a cold northerly, anyway. Got a proper Greenland block going there via a mid-Atlantic ridge. And then the last one to look at will be the ECM WF, and then we've done. It's just finished updating as we've been talking. So uh, let's have a look at this one, then. Again, tomorrow, Thursday, will be very mild with winds up from the southwest. We move out into the weekend and it'll turn colder over the weekend with north or northeasty winds. Not desperately cold, but certainly colder than we've experienced for quite a while. High pressure then will be in over country through the old part of next week before starting to push up towards green. It looks like ice, um, the ECM is also taking that to high pressure up towards green and ice on Wednesday. We've got a northerly pushing down across the country, looking pretty cold there. With those northern winds, and it carries on into the second half of next week. Um, winds in from the north, maybe from the northeast, looking quite cold and wintry. At day 10, we've got this area of low pressure uh, in the Norwegian Sea. Perhaps a little bit less cold by day 10 with that, but I reckon this low pressure in the Norwegian Sea would probably dig southwards, and we would probably renew the northerly, actually, over that weekend of the 20. 7th, 28th of November. So although it does back the wind slightly to a slightly less cold northwesterly by day 10, I reckon if we go on to day 11 and 12, it would probably push uh, a northern, another northerly uh, through uh, as well. Right, so uh, that's it all looking very interesting, isn't it? It looks like, uh, yes, we're going to complete the November flip uh, through the weekend and into next week. It will start to turn quite a lot colder after this very warm autumn, very mild autumn. Looks like we're going to flip it and turn things a lot colder through the final sort of uh, week, 10 days of November and of beach Beachological Autumn. And, uh, yeah, it looks like I've got pretty good agreement for some really quite cold northerly winds for the second half of uh, next week. And uh, they will bring an increase in risk of snow with them as well. Have a look at today's 10 to 14 day if you would like to do that. Right, so that's your 12Z look ahead done and dusted. Just to say that tomorrow we are going to have the 7 a.m. Uh, forecast to begin with. Then we will have the European Outlook followed by uh, a 10 to 14 day. Uh, and who knows, maybe we'll do another 12Z uh, update tomorrow evening. We'll wait and see about that. But uh, certainly for today's videos, that's all for now. And thanks so much.